I challenge you to go talk to someone outside of your circle and ask them, what are you passionate about? That is it. What's up guys and girls, it's EP with Styles of Life. I know that everyone out there is passionate about something. Everyone out there has their own motives. The reason I say this is because over the weekend, I, I, I came to some realizations. I went to this party on campus. I, I go to a university and I, go, I went to this party, right? And I was in the backyard and there was about 100 people in the crowd. And I looked around and I noticed everyone was in their little small circles, right? Just circles everywhere, right? Of course, people are meeting each other, but like everyone was in circles. And what I noticed is that in, within every circle, there's always someone that's always looking around, looking for something. And, and then I'm, I'm doing the same thing, right? Because I'm looking around too, but I'm analyzing the situation at hand. And, and then next thing you know, this guy goes, ah! like just roars, jumps off the roof of this two-story building that we were partying at, and this fool, what, a lot, of, there's people going, what, is, this guy just jumped off the roof for no reason, he's drunk, he's an idiot, he, what is he doing? I'm over here analyzing it like no other. The way I see it, there's about 100 people there, right? And out of those 100 people, fit half of them heard him roar. And then half of those people actually watched him jump off the roof. And half of those people actually really cared. And then half of those people, well, they might actually carry, have something to talk about. But you see, what I, I, I saw out of this is that out of all these people, it's going to out of a hundred people, one or two people will probably talk to him afterwards, saying, "Hey, dude, you're you're crazy! Like, whoa, I can't believe you did that!" And then he gets some recognition for a short, short amount of time, and that's all he was really looking for, right? Something to talk about, something everyone wants to be heard, understood, and supported. And so he wanted to be heard, but he didn't necessarily get understood or supported as much as he was heard. Now, the reason behind this, I find, is because of a hinted agenda, right? Over this course, after this whole situation, I came to realization that, like, I need to go pursue what it is I'm passionate about. And I've been passionate about communication for the longest time. Like, I, that's who I was, that's who I am, that's who I'll always be. And I've ne I, I, I didn't know what I could do to really direct my passion to help the world and this party made me real this th that that the dude jumping off the roof made me realize that no matter what you can make someone talk about something you can make people do something simply by engaging them and putting yourself out there right but the reason why his situation didn't last the reason why well actually i'm talking about it now so this situation is actually lasting a pretty long time and that's the point of the that's the moral of the story the thing with me is that over the courses i've been taking at school and with all these controversies going on in the world today especially with trump being the president of the united states of america and <laughs> doing some crazy policies right i don't want to go into any detail about that right now but what I've understood about all these controversies, whether it's how Donald Trump become president, became president, or whether it's child sex trafficking on the internet, whether it's any sort of controversial thing, right? What I've come to realize is that the answers are always very, very similar and it comes down to education. Donald Trump became president because the majority of the United States consists of white male middle-aged, non-educated. The non-educated part is the crucial part because 
what is education? People think education is just school. No, it is not just school. Education is a form of life. It's a part of life. It's a part of communications. And this is what I want to get to you guys. And this is what I came to realize. That when that dude jumped off that roof, that moment... I realized that I can do something that will make someone talk as well. And I want to spread this idea that I can feel, I believe that will solve issues in this world and make it a better place. Because the whole point of life is to improve, guys. What I realized, what's the point of improving myself if I'm not helping everyone around me improve? And I know that I'm going to connect with someone out there because I see my analytics. I see people from Mexico, people, people from Indonesia, people from Thailand, people from the United Kingdom, people from Canada. Whether it's only one person in each country, I don't care. There's someone out there watching this and I want to connect with that person. I know that half of you guys are going to click this and then half of you guys like are or half of you guys are gonna see my or there's gonna be a, a finite amount of people who are gonna see my link half of you guys are actually gonna click my link half of you guys are actually gonna even bother to watch it half of you guys will actually care about what I have to say and support my ideas and then half of you guys are actually gonna do something about it and those people are the people I am trying to reach because this idea I have I feel that can save the world is simple it comes down to just talking to people outside of your comfort zone. People always go to people that are like them or that they want to be like. Yet they don't know why they don't like the other person. They don't know why they don't, they're not like the other person. They don't know why they're not like us. They, we don't know why. They don't know why. They don't want to be like them. They just know that they don't want to be like them. That's it. But they don't know why because they never... Why is it that there's a white male in Louisiana that hates Mexicans but has never talked to a Mexican in his life? That is what I'm trying to attack. I want to bring this world together and talk about our passions, guys. That's the beautiful thing. Everyone's passionate about something. And that's the... I... I don't even bother asking anyone other, when I first meet someone, I don't bother asking anything other than what are you passionate about? Because once we talk, start talking about what we're passionate about, we start learning from each other. We start educating each other. That's free education right there. And I believe YouTube is the platform to spread this passion of mine because I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. I, I've came to a realization that this is what I want to do. I plan on being a motivational speaker and I'm doing everything I can to do that. I got to finish school first because when I start something, I'm going to finish it. And after that, oh, this world, I don't care how long it's going to take for me to consider myself successfully advocating this idea because my goal right now, I understand that public speaking is the second most feared thing in this world. Right under spiders, but right after death. People are more scared of talking in public than they are of dying. That is not okay. That is why there are so many issues in this world because we don't talk enough. We don't bring enough awareness. People say the first step to fixing anything is awareness, and that is wrong. The first step is to bring awareness, and the only way to do that is through communication. Now look, guys. I don't mean to go off ham about this whole situation, but this is something that I am passionate about. I, 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 I didn't know what this all meant because I finally understand that it's bigger than me. It's about this world, like, because everything around us affects us individually, but it comes down to us to take action to make our lives better. And I want to help this world, and I want to leave my mark, my legacy behind for my kids, my grandchildren, and their surroundings, and the, the planet they come into. And I want to be proud of what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do everything I can to advocate for interpersonal communication. I challenge you. Whoever it is watching, if you got this far, 10, minute in, 10 minutes into this video, I commend you. I love you. I love you. Like, I love you. Because that means so much to me. And 
I promise to keep uploading videos for whoever it is out there watching and supporting this idea and cause. This may be the first huge step and initiative towards it, but this is going to be a lifelong journey of improvement for the entire world. I think this is it, guys. I think I'm here for a reason, guys. This is my reason, this is my purpose in life, and it's to bring everyone together. I know that I am capable of bringing people together through the way I speak and the way I hold myself accountable as a human being. I'm going too deep into this. I have a lot more to say, guys. You guys have no idea. It's going to be, it's a beautiful life, though, guys. Be grateful, guys. Life is great, all right? There's always reasons to be great. There's always reason why life is shitty, but put that aside, all right? There's always a reason to smile, always. Whatever you're passionate about. This whole time you're watching this video, when I said what you're passionate, when I asked what you're passionate about, when I brought that up, you thought, the, you, if the top of your mind will tell knows what you're passionate about and that's that's something to smile about that's something to talk about and I challenge you to go meet someone outside of your circle and ask them what are you passionate about what is it that you're what what are you passionate about like it's so simple and people will answer you trust me no one's going to say no to that because it's an open-ended question and it's a beautiful question. Everyone loves talking about what they're passionate about. And by, by talking about what we're passionate about to each other, we learn new perspectives and understand why about more things in life. I'm going to leave it right there, guys. Again, if you made it this far, thank you. I love you. Please, 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 please. If you like my video there, you guys, please click like or dislike. I don't care as long as you watched. It That's all I care, honestly. If you guys watched and enjoyed, subscribe because I want to build a community out here that believes in what I believe in. Because the more people, I, I firmly believe that if I keep doing this, oh man, I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect with someone out there. Hopefully many people. I will connect with many people. I will. <laughs> I will, alright? Well, I'm going to leave you guys there. Please click like if you like the video. Click subscribe. Spread the cause. Ask. I don't even care about like anything other than just going out there. I just challenge you to go out there and ask people, what are you passionate about? Just one person. Just one person a day. Come on. That, uh, how about just one person a week? Just, just one person this week. Try that for a size, alright? I challenge you to go talk to someone outside of your circle and ask them, what are you passionate about? That is it. And see what you learn and see if they learn anything. Thanks guys.